possible ancient alien mummies discovered in Peru. Yeah, welcome back guys, you heard it right. Let's get straight into it. So I first came across this story when I read an article online back in August of this year, excuse me, and the article that I read was basically published to announce that they'd taken DNA samples and they were getting shipped out for analysis. So I was quite fortunate really, I came onto it and there was already some research available, like the, the physical examinations. Yeah, straight away I was like, these, these things are aliens. I mean, they've got the round eyes, elongated skull, um, long fingers and toes, and I was just like, Pfft, aliens. But moving on from there, let's get into the actual physical examinations themselves. Yeah, so on the male one, there seemed to be some kind of hip implant. Uh, and on the female, there seemed to be some kind of chest implant. So I was looking at these implants thinking, are these some kind of medical implants, you know? And then also with, within the x-ray of the female, the female mummy, there appeared to be three eggs in the where the womb would, you'd presume the womb would be. And if you lie, like when you see the, the, the mummy from a, a side view, a profile view, you can see that the hump as well. So if it's a fake, you know, it's, it's a pretty good fake. And then there was the third mummy of similar size. Now this one, like I say, it was in a seated position with a severed head, but it actually had more detail. Like for me, when I was looking, you could see the they looked like strands, muscle fibers coming out the neck, where obviously the head had been severed. On the on the video that I seen as well, the the guy he goes over and he, he gets a really good close up look at it. So it's one of the best images that you can that I I could find anyway, and it was on the actual video that I seen, and it was the skin looked scaly. It looked like it was definitely some texture for skin on the back, and it it was it was incredible to be honest. But that was the three smaller ones. Now onto the larger one. The larger one was like five and a half feet, like I say, average human height. And it was in the fetal, the fetal position. Now, the thing that really freaked me out, it genuinely freaked me out about this one, was the fact that it looks so similar to the three smaller ones, but yet there was such a vast size difference. So immediately I thought, well, maybe they are fakes. You know what I mean? If if you can duplicate, if you can make a replica of this size, why can you not make a replica of that size? You know, that's where my thought went. But then, as he's moving around with the camera, the guy who made this video, the name is, is escaping me right now, but I will give him a shout out, and his link will be in the video below, because this guy he flew over there, and he, it was incredible, man. Like, really was incredible. I think it was on for like two, two and a half hours, the video that I've seen, but... It was definitely worth watching. Gives you a good insight onto, you know, how this this world of pseudo archaeology is is so so difficult for people to to progress. You know what I mean? It's hard for people to get funding and hard for people to get media attention and and just all the, all of the above, really. But back to this larger mummy. So when I when I got a actually good look when the guy goes around the camera and stuff. You start to realise that, you know, it the features are slightly different. I mean, it looks like, even though this mummy didn't have earlobes or anything like that, apparently it was just a puncture hole where it'd be able to hear. There's lips. Now, on the smaller mummy, I, you don't really see much profile for lips, but on this one, it's like, looks very, uh, looks, looks, but I didn't want to say it, but it basically looks like a genetic experiment for me. Like, it looks half possible alien and half possible human. And then you'd add that to the fact that the size difference in these 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 mummies, is that, was that legit, was that a legit alien mummy, the smaller one? And this five and a half feet mummy that we're seeing now, is this maybe some kind of genetic experimentation? I, I mean, I don't know. But what I do know is that the information on the dating of these mummies was corroborated by two independent analysts and they both came out at 17 to 1800 years old. I mean, it's incredible really. I mean, even if these are fakes, you know, what What, what was the purpose in um, wrapping fake alien mummies? 
nearly 2,000 years ago. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me, but furthermore, on top of that, um, the actual mummies were found at the Nazca Plains, at the Atacama Desert. Now, if you don't know, the, the Nazca Plains is where you have the so-called, well, it's not the so-called, they have the literal Nazca Lines, where you've got the, the patterns in the ground, you know, like the giant spider and the monkey with the spiral tail and things like that. You know, some ufologists and other researchers believe that this was a place where aliens might have came and landed. The, the general consensus from archaeologists is that these were just man-made structures that they were depicting the idols and things like that. Well, maybe it's a bit of both. Maybe maybe these, these original mummies were like some kind of downed alien craft and they were basically just trying to signal Oh, look, we've got a couple of your guys down here, like, come and land here and collect them. No one came. So maybe they just wrapped these bodies up. Maybe maybe they were still alive and they eventually died, so they, they wrapped them up and, and buried them. You know? And that's not the only thing that, that concerned me about this this um, this whole storyline. Because as you've seen in in the video that, I, that, that I'm going to put in the link below, the guys who were doing the press conference out in, out in Peru, they're trying to get as much media attention as possible, you know, they're trying to they're trying to shine as much light on this topic just so that they can get more research done, you know, more people asking more questions means more variables, doesn't it? That's all that that's all that all you can ask for when it comes to analysing something. But we've seen it, the government not interested. Um in actually when they actually did the press conference as well, they're in the hotel and when people get on the mic and start talking, you can hear banging going on in the hotel where they're just trying to do everything they can to get them to turn the cameras off and just to stop it, just to be a nuisance, to make it more difficult. Let's be honest, the powers that be, they don't want to make this easy for, for you or I to find out these things. But yeah, let's move on from there anyway. Let's get on to the main reason why I did this video. <clears throat> so like I stated at the start, the article that I first read was to announce that they had DNA samples that they were sending out to be tested. Well, good news guys, the samples are back in. So let's take a look and see what the test result. So yeah, let's get straight into the results of these DNA samples then. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I've been uh, under the weather the last few days. The samples were concluded to be a 100% match to human DNA. Both the hand and the brain tissues were found to come from a male homo sapien, according to a report from the Paleo DNA Laboratory at Lakehead University, Ontario, Canada. That's available online, by the way, I will put that link in the description below as well. Dr. Raimundo Salas Alfaro, a radiologist from Peru, said, We are scientifically proving that this body is a real body that was once alive. And also, writing about the case on the conspiracy theory website Collective Evolution, Arjun Walia said, Human-like DNA, what does that even mean? After all, humans share 50% of their DNA with a banana. 80% with dogs and 99% with chimpanzees. In reality, our genomes differ in many ways, but the numbers seem to imply something else. The point I'm trying to make is, with regards to my research into the extraterrestrial phenomena, the common factor is humanoid. And that's the end of that. And apparently there's further DNA screening that will be taking place. So there you have it, the results are in terrestrial mummies which to be honest am I too surprised not really no if these results would have been controversial would we have seen the actual results because we only have to touch back on to activity in recent years uh, Tutankhamun when the, the DNA analysis was done on his body and we are still waiting for the, the results of that analysis it's being locked away and we're just not allowed that information. There has been some some leaks. Now, I don't want to corroborate these as legit, but there's certain people who've said certain things online and they've come out and said that, you know, it's alien DNA inside Tutankhamun. So, I mean, maybe that's just, you know, people just getting overexcited and just posting crap on, on the internet. Maybe that's, that's the case, but... Tutankhamun's another mysterious one because if you look at his skeletal structure, you know, the elongated skull, there's talk, you know, you, you talk about Akhenaten, who was supposedly his father, and 
you know, you've everyone's seen the images, you know, like where he's worshiping the sun disc and all this, and he's got that. Is it the upper crown or the lower crown of Egypt? You no, know, like the the Elon, like the rounded one with like like a ball on the end. Well, in in these carvings, you look at you look at Akhenaten in there, and his his skull looks extremely long. He's got a weird little pot belly. Um, there's there's a lot of strange stuff going on with Akhenaten, and no one's found his body, so we don't know what his genetics were. The closest link we have to finding out what Akhenaten's genetics were is Tutankhamun, and like I've said, his results are being kept away from us. So I'm going to end the video there, guys. Like I said, the results are in. The the mummies are terrestrial, but just because their DNA is terrestrial, you know, used to say that, like I said, that that DNA is not being mixed around in some other way. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.